Folks, I've dealt in the Middle East for a long, long time, and the mosquitoes out there bite people and they get malaria. And, well, quinine has been the treatment for malaria for decades, perhaps decades. centuries. And a drug called hydroxychloroquine has been around for 60 years and has been used safely for malaria, as I said, and lupus. And some doctors say that if you add it to with zinc, it becomes a real treatment for the prevention of COVID-19. Some others don't agree. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be in science. You, you put forth your uh, hypothesis and other people can debate it and then it's so-called peer reviewed. But why are the advocates of hydroxychloroquine shouted down in the public square? Why are their, their uh, posts being censored on the uh, Twitter and other uh, platforms? What's really behind all the controversy? Dale Hurd has the story. It may be the first politically correct, you know, politically incorrect drug in American history. How did a drug known for decades as safe and effective suddenly become dangerous? Hydroxychloroquine is so safe that in several nations it's sold over the counter without a prescription. But the media has started treating hydroxychloroquine like a public health menace. And this pharmaceutical smear campaign began around the time this guy started talking it up. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. Then came all the news stories about how hydroxychloroquine is somehow risky to take or that it doesn't work against COVID-19. And when this group of physicians calling themselves America's frontline doctors held a press conference in Washington to educate about COVID-19 and tell the truth about hydroxychloroquine, they got the same treatment the media has been giving the drug. Video of their press conference accumulated over 17 million views during the eight hours it was hosted on Facebook. But when Donald Trump Jr. tweeted it, his Twitter account was restricted for sharing content that may pose a risk to people's health. Then all videos of America's frontline doctors were stripped from Facebook and YouTube and their website was taken down. An avalanche of negative stories began. The impact of COVID misinformation, how it's hurting the fight on the front lines. These experienced licensed physicians were called quacks, yeah. funded by dark money. And with USA Today reporting, the doctors don't know what they're talking about. So if you ask me if I expected that, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I, I don't know what to say to that. You know, I thought I lived in America. You had a bunch of doctors talking literally about science getting deplatformed. It's outrageous. The group spokesperson, Dr. Simone Gold, with over 31 years of experience in the medical field, says she was then let go by a hospital for what it called the embarrassing video. I'm a board certified emergency physician. We are pretty hard to come by, and suddenly they don't need me. I mean, it's ridiculous. And all this over a drug many doctors believe is safer than Tylenol or aspirin. It works. We've now shown it works and we're still pouring hatred on this medicine. The safety and effectiveness of hydroxychloroquine is certainly debatable. So why can't it be debated on social media? Why has a drug long considered by many doctors to be safe become the first politically incorrect medicine? It's a political drug now, not a medical drug. Dr. Harvey Rich, a distinguished cancer epidemiologist and professor of public health at Yale, told Fox News the Ingram angle he believes hydroxychloroquine could save between 75,000 to 100,000 lives, but that it's up against corruption in the medical and pharmaceutical industries. We're basically fighting a propaganda war against the, the medical facts. I think initially the media just hated it because Trump liked it. You know, it fell into category orange man bad. But hydroxychloroquine could also stand in the way of huge profits. It only cost about $10 a dose. New treatments about to hit the market could cost in the thousands. The people who benefit from hydroxychloroquine being kept down fall into the following categories. Anyone who's a comp who has a business interest that competes with hydroxychloroquine and also politicians and leaders who are invested in keeping Americans 
in fear. Dr. Anthony Fauci continues to say hydroxychloroquine doesn't work. The overwhelming prevailing clinical trials that have looked at the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine have indicated that it is not effective in coronavirus disease. But a recent Henry Ford Health System study of over 2,500 patients found that hydroxychloroquine worked. And there are far more studies showing hydroxychloroquine works than studies showing it doesn't. But it is primarily a prophylactic. Dr. Gold says it works best to prevent COVID or in the early stages of the disease. It's essentially a magic bullet, especially if you use it early. Rarely have I seen anything in medicine work so well. It's not working like a, like a, you know, like an antibiotic, you know, taking days. When it works, if you give it early, it works within 24 hours. It's really, really dramatic and it's really fast. But use of hydroxychloroquine is now limited in 44 states. And state medical boards are reportedly threatening doctors who prescribe it, even though the FDA says the decision should be between a doctor and patient. Whatever the reason for the political opposition to this drug, it could mean one less tool that might save a life. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Politicize age. You can't talk about age. You can't tell anybody they've got it. You can't uh, release uh, facts about it. There's just, it's a politically correct disease. And once the, uh, well, in that case, they they don't want uh, anybody to know they've got it. Now it's a question of one that, Trump likes, so let's not let's not tout it, even if it works. You don't want to live in a country like this, do you? I, I think it's time we we have a real look at our spiritual life and say, what kind of a nation do we want? Do we do we want freedom of thought and expression, or do we want to restrict our thought? Do we want to have political correctness running our lives? Well, it's getting pretty bad, but. Uh, we're here to tell you the truth, but let's just keep standing on the side of truth. And Jesus said, you will continue in my word, you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Mm. Terry.